If we talk about the pudendal nerve, pudendal nerve is the chief neurovascular bundle that is supplying the perineum. So whenever you heard about the uh, you hear about the perineum, you should know that its nerve supply is coming directly from the pudendal nerve, and pudendal nerve is giving and separating all the branches in the perineum. Either it's the urogenital region or either it's the anal region. So pudendal nerve is arising from a sacral plexus. and it is derived from that sacral plexus it is derived from the spinal nerves s2 s3 and s4 so pudendal nerve is arising from sacral plexus s2 s3 and s4 now uh, pudendal nerve is not actually arising here in the perineum it arises in the pelvis and then it enters the gluteal region through greater sciatic notch we discuss we discuss in the hip part in the bony pelvis part that it enters through that greater sciatic notch and then it leaves the pelvis from the lesser sciatic notch and then it enters the perineum part and, uh, and in perineum it is coming through the ischioanal fossa in the ischioanal fossa if you haven't seen the video please watch the video and you will Uh, remember all the concepts of the ischioanal fossa and how it is coming from the lateral side of the ischioanal fossa so basically pudendal nerve is uh, uh, has a th uh, pa three uh, uh, parts in the journey and the, the three parts are the pelvis gluteal region and then the pudendal canal so uh, first of all it runs into the pelvis the pudendal nerve descends in front of the piriformis mus muscle deep to its fascia and in the gluteal region it is uh, you know lying under the cover of the gluteus maximus muscle so in the pelvis it is in relation with the muscle piriformis while in the gluteal region it is in relation with the gluteus maximus muscle and medial to the pudendal uh, nerve in the gluteal region there will be internal pudendal vessels so it will accompany these vessels and this nerve leave will leave the gluteal region by passing through the lesser sciatic foramen then in the pudendal canal this neurovascular bundle you can see this is a bundle that is lying in the lateral wall of the ischioanal fossa now the puden uh, what are the branches that are present in the perineum you should know so that pudendal nerve uh, will give mainly the inferior rectal nerve that these are the main inferior rectal nerve these inferior rectal nerve pierces the medial wall of the pudendal canal and cr crosses the ischioanal fossa from lateral to the medial side so you can see here the pudendal nerve is lying in the lateral wall and it is giving branches to the medial side and then they will be supplying the external anal sphincter anus and you know all these uh, parts of the anal region and then uh, it will also supply the uh, lining which is around the anal canal then Uh, it gives the perineal nerve and perineal nerve is one of the larger terminal branch of the pudendal nerve and that perineal nerve terminates by dividing into further branches so it will divide by uh, dividing into the posterior scrotal or posterior labial branches these are the labia so it will give some branches to the labium part so that will be the posterior labial branches and it will also give that main perineal nerve that is coming from the pudendal nerve will give muscular branches to the urogenital muscles and that will supply again to the all muscles like external anus sphincter muscle it will supply the uh, levator ani fibers it will give supply to this you can see here one muscular branch it will supply the bulbo spongiosus muscle and it will also sp uh, supply the ischio cavernosus you can see actually branches coming to these muscles right then you will have the deep and dorsal nerve of the penis or clitoris so the this is the uh, dorsal nerve which is coming all the way to the clitoris so that dorsal nerve of clitoris is also the branch of uh, this pudendal nerve it runs forwards first in the it runs first forwards in this pudendal canal above the internal pudendal vessels and then it reaches to the deep perineal space which is lying below this perineal membrane and then it runs forwards and reaches to this clitoris so that's it for the pudendal nerve now internal pudendal arteries your assignment and you have to send it to me thank you so much